like you might contemplate, well, look, what can I do to the oceans? What can do do the air? But you really have to then come back to soils and our management of soils if you want to influence anything in this biogeological sort of cycle and, yeah, the dynamics of the planet. There's some 38,000 billion tonnes of carbon dissolved in the ocean. And it makes the point, you see, that's 50 times the carbon in the atmosphere. And so even if we try to draw down carbon in the atmosphere, the oceans will, is a big buffered system, will just re-equilibrate. So it will take centuries for us even drawing down, even having negative net emissions to change the carbon in the atmosphere in a meaningful way to change its greenhouse effect. So it's actually the evidence that, look, we can't fix the climate anymore with CO2 emissions reductions because the ocean is such an enormous sink and we're heated the planet artificially about three watts per square metre, which is about 1% unbalanced. But the Earth's transpiration, these latent heat fluxes through transpiration evaporation, they naturally take 24% of the heat that we're getting from the sun, taking it from the surface back up into the atmosphere. That's 20, 85 watts per square metre globally, or 24% of the heat energy this process is actually using to take it from the surface. And so theoretically, if we just increase the vegetation 4%, we're done. we can do that 1% cooling effect, right? See, the biggest externality we've got at the moment in our industrial food system is the fact that it's actually toxic, that it's generating trillions, tens of trillions of dollars of disease and health consequences. And if we put the real cost of those health consequences of this very, very poor food that we're, you know, the nutritional compromised food that we're marketing, if we looked at the real health consequences and costs of that and said, look, who's paying for that health? All of us. Yeah. <laughs> we can avoid those costs by having healthy food, food with the right nutritional integrity, then that food would walk off the shelf because it was just so cost competitive relative to these health costs. Yeah. And so, look, these are the case studies, the evidence, the reality on, in nature. Yes, this works, right? But look, we don't have to really do the experiments. We can go to the sequoia forests in America and they're getting up to 80% of their moisture from mists and fog harvested from the marine airflows, right? 